Hello, YouTubers. Well, I was going to build a project today, but we have a little problem. I need to go to the store because there's something I can't find and I need it so that I can finish the project. So, you're going to the store with me. Well, now we're here at the Home Depot, finally. Now, you can't beat that. I found all the pieces I need all at one store. Now that we got our, all of our supplies together, we're going to uh, make a ring barrel out of this 55 gallon food grade barrel. I got a couple of these, so I figured I could sacrifice one to show you how one's made. At the top here, we have two bungs. This one has its plug in it. The other one doesn't. These plugs just twist and come on out. One has already been removed because that's where our water is going to be going in. Right now, I have to drill a hole. I need to make a hole down here so that I can attach my spout so that we can have water once we uh, get it filled. Okay. Put this down here. Just using a half inch hose connection here. This is a standard one, solid brass that you'd use for your house. Hole's just not quite big enough yet. Okay, I went ahead and switched it out for a three quarter inch one instead because the other one just wasn't quite big enough. So now I can actually wrap this with Teflon tape to stick it down in the hole. Give it a couple good wraps. Pull that tight, snap it off there. Take it. Get it down on our hole. There we go. Alright, we used a crescent wrench to get it the rest of the way down in there. And uh, now it's a good tight seal around there. Just to make sure that it's nice and really tight, I got some uh, tub and shower sink countertop caulk. I'm squeeze some out of this. Open it up. Put a little bead around this. That way when this dries, it'll give us a nice, nice tight seal. We won't have to worry about any leaking. doesn't have to look perfect. just has to be actually around it, covering it. If I have to, I can always add more later. It takes 36 hours to uh, set up completely, so we'll not be able to add water to it just yet. Okay. Now we're going to cut a foot length of 2 inch tube here, and we're going to fit it down in here so that we can put our cap on the top. I'm definitely going to recommend to use a hacksaw when doing this because if you use any other kind of saw, it's going to take a while. Well, we don't have the most even cut, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be even. That's the great part of my projects is because I don't really measure anything exactly. My projects are to the best estimate of whatever you can get it close to. Because usually when I build things, they end up lopsided anyway, so it's easier just to estimate it. Plus the other end is already pretty flat anyway, and that's the end we're going to use for this pipe anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, get it started down in this hole. We're going to move it down in this hole, just keep kind of pushing and turning. There we go. Nice, tight, tight fit. 
And then we're just going to put this on here. Nice tight fit for that too. We're not going to bother using any kind of epoxy or glue or any PVC anything adhesive because it's just not necessary. Now we're going to get a piece of screening and put it over the top. I just had this old screen laying out here. Don't have any other uses for it, except for this. So we cut a piece. We're going to be able to wrap around here. I need to grab a clamp, clamp it on down. Okay. Might be a little difficult to do. If you have too much trouble, I was just just taking a rubber band, and sticking it around here to begin with to get you started. And that one's not long enough. <laughs> We had a little change of plans. Instead of putting the screening on top, I figured it would be a little bit easier if I just went ahead and put it down over the top of the pipe and then shove my connector piece on top. It makes it a little bit tighter of the seal. And then just to clean it out, I'll just have to either just scoop it out with my hands or once the barrel is actually full, I'll be able to lift this piece off the top and just wipe the screen clean. We're just going to slide this clamp in. Box cutter. You can just use a regular box cutter to cut the screening material. Because I find that is best. Oh. Tools needed for this is a three-quarter inch brad point bit, an electric drill, safety glasses, a hacksaw, a flat head screwdriver, Teflon tape, a box cutter, and a crescent wrench. Other items you'll need to purchase is some two-inch round PVC piping, a two-inch to three-inch sewer connector or drain connector, some screen, and a clamp, a round clamp. Okay. You also need to buy a spigot. They sell these in various various sizes. This is a half inch one. You can get them three quarter inch, inch, half quarter inch, so just whatever your preference is. It's got a nice hose hook up on the bottom. And you also need the 55 gallon barrel. You can purchase some of these from are you trying to help? Do you, do you know what this is? Can you tell everybody what this is? Can you look at mommy and say barrel? No, you can't. You can, but you won't. You can buy these from farmers or from people that are just wanting to get rid of them. You can usually find them on Craigslist for about $10 to $20 depending on what your needs are. They have them in various varieties. You can make them from 30 gallons to 55 gallons. And they have some smaller ones, but they're really hard to find. You can also make this out of a trash can or various other materials. Just pretty much as long as it holds water, you can make it out of it. And this is a great eco-friendly way to water your garden, your lawn, whatever you'd like to water. You just hook up a hose to the bottom of it, water whatever you'd like. You could also hook up a soaker hose to the bottom of it and just lay it around your plants and the soaker hose will actually slow drain out the water so that way you're not using it all at once and it still waters your plants. Bung! And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please subscribe in the corner there and uh, I'll be bringing you more videos. Whoa! And in 36 hours I'll be bringing you the second video to this after the silicone dries around this, we will uh, be running water through it so we can flush out the system since this did have soy sauce in it to begin with. It smells really bad. We'll go ahead and flush out the system, get it all cleaned out, set up with the downspout.